Now let me introduce you to Rob. Rob's been doing this for a few weeks and he's getting really, really good at it. So the first step we're going to do is actually remove the silicon. We don't need to completely remove the silicon. We need to just trim it back away from the wall, off the bath. The rest in the wall can stay. The coating will fill up to three or four millimeters into the cavity of the wall. So as long as there's no big gaping holes, the coating will do the sealing and we won't have to use any silicon afterwards. We have a silicon remover, it's called a wax and grease remover. All that does is soften up the silicon so that it can easily be removed. There's still a bit of mechanical work involved and it requires a little bit of a little bit of skill and a good eye. Hey Rob. All right, so this part here will have to trim away from that lip. So we'll cut the silicon just flat on the side of the tile and then trim it off the top. We don't want to dig it out. All we want to do is remove it off the enamel part of the bath. So we end up with this, which later on we can just clean up with a little bit of sandpaper, a bit of steel wool, and she's ready for pouring. So here we've removed the silicon. We've removed the silicon off the bath. There's a little bit on the wall. Now we can do our job and it could look good, but if we want a really nice finished trim, we're gonna to need to remove the silicon off the wall as well. So that when our coating fills that gap, it will look like a perfect seal. That trims it off nicely, leaving nothing behind. But we definitely don't want to dig the silicon out from between the wall and the bath, because then you'll get rubbish coming out through the gap and it can spoil the job. Like ants and cockroaches and whatever else is behind the wall. Now attention to detail is very important when removing silicon. Although this product is very forgiving when it comes to silicon little particles, still you want to try and get it as neat as you possibly can so that there's nothing going into the product itself. So this is the first stage of the preparation. After our wash, this will look even better and we'll get a perfect line when we're pouring. 